Have you ever wondered how hackers can be fully anonymous online without ever being caught? So in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can do that, how you can be fully anonymous online using proxy chains. Please keep in mind that this video is for educational purposes only. Let's dive into the video. Before you can get the hang of proxy chains, it's important to understand what a proxy is. If you know what a proxy is, feel free to skip this section of this video. So instead of sending the website server requests from our own IP address, we use a proxy server to do that for us. Think of a proxy server as a middleman between you and the internet. It's like sending a friend to pick up your pizza instead of going yourself. So now, the target server will not detect our IP address, Instead, it will communicate with and recognize the IP address of the proxy server. The whole idea of using a proxy server is to hide the identity of the original requester. In this case, it's us, the users. And to make this even harder for the target server to track who we are, we can keep repeating this process by using a multiple proxy server network to further hide our IP address. So instead of sending our traffic to a single proxy server, we use multiple proxy servers to send that same request. And this is what proxy chains are. To add more salt to this formula, we can use Tor or the Onion Router. Tor is like a secret tunnel network on the internet. Instead of going straight to your computer on the website you want to visit, your data bounces through different encrypted proxy chains around the world. This makes it really hard for anyone to know who you are or what you are doing online. So let's see how we can accomplish that on Kali Linux. So I'll open a terminator. Let's first configure proxy chains by doing sudo followed by the text editor you would like to use. In my case, I will use leafpad, followed by the location of the proxy chains configuration file, which is usually in etc proxychains4.conf. By the way, proxy chains 4 is the latest version of proxy chains at the time of recording this video. Hit enter, put in the sudo password, and here we have the file opened. As always, if you face any type of issue, please let me know down in the comments and I will help you out. So we have four general modes that we can run this proxy chain in and we can only run a single mode at a time. The first mode is the dynamic mode and we see it in here. The second one is the strict mode or the strict chain mode and the third one is robin chain mode and the fourth one is the random chain. And underneath each mode you will find a description explaining what each mode does and they all have their own unique functions. But in my personal experience, Tor works well with the dynamic chain mode enabled and to enable it we simply remove the hashtag sign or the pound sign in front of the line here and I will add the pound sign in front of the strict chain mode since only one mode can be running. Let's scroll a bit down until you see proxy dash underscore DNS and make sure that this setting is uncommented, meaning that it doesn't have any hash sign in front of it, just like this. So what proxy DNS does is basically it tells the program to use a proxy DNS instead of relying on our local DNS server. So if we keep using our local DNS, our identity could be exposed which defeats the whole purpose of using a proxy chain. Next, let's scroll down to the end of the document where we'll see the proxy list heading. And the setting is already set to the Tor network, which uses our loopback address of 127.0.0.1 on port 9050. In case you don't want to use Tor, you can add the SOC or HTTP settings in here. And we can see that they actually provided us with some examples on how to do that. But anyways, in our case, we will be using Tor, so we'll keep using the SOX4 config line. And we'll also actually add the SOX5, SOX5 proxy with the same address and the same port in case you don't see it on the config file. Now we are adding SOX5 because it's an updated version and it is slightly better than SOX4. SOX5 has support for both TCP and UTP connections. It includes authentication for security, and it offers more features overall compared to the SOX 4. And that's it, I will simply save the file and exit. Now let's turn on the Tor service. And in case you don't have it installed already, you can simply install it using sudo apt install tor or tor. Mine is already installed, so I'll do clear and I will do sudo service tor start. And this will start the Tor service. And to double check if it's actually running, we can do sudo 
service store status. And here we can confirm it's actually active. Now let's do proxy chains followed by the browser that we want to use. In my case, I would like to use Firefox. So this command basically runs the Firefox web browser through proxy chains. In other words, it opens Firefox with proxy chains enabled. This will allow Firefox to route its internet traffic through proxies configured in the proxy chains configuration file that we just modified. Let's hit enter. And there you go. We can now browse the internet fully anonymously. I will confirm that by checking my current IP address. So I will simply go to, to ipleak.net. And here we can see the IP address as well as the location associated with this IP address. I can verify that I'm not in this country location. I am not in the Netherlands. And to make this even more verifiable, Let's wait a couple more minutes and refresh the page once again. It will give us a different IP address. And as you can see, we got a different IP address this time. So that confirms that we are connected to the Tor network of proxy chains. Now, since we are connected to the Tor network, we can run Nmap scans and other pen testing tools anonymously. And to run Nmap, for example, we can simply do proxy chains followed by nmap and whatever scan you want to use, just a random address. So this will run nmap using the Tor network. And that's basically how you can be fully anonymous online using proxy chains. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more cool videos like this one.